Welcome everybody to another episode of Psychotronic Coast to Coast. I'm Skinslip, that's Owen Neal. We're your hosts with the most. We just watched another John Fosano film. While this one came out before the previous film we just talked about, which would be Black Roses, considering we're comparing these two together. We're recording this like weeks later because uh, reasons. Anyway, we haven't been recording for the last, weeks, last couple of weeks, but here we are recording for Rock and Roll Nightmare, and we just watched it live on Twitch, which if you were here, live on Twitch, following our Twitter, following me on Twitch, you could actually uh, see us record live, and we actually watched a movie live this time, which we're going to start doing more often, so we can't always show the movie because there's nudity. Yeah, you know, that's the way it goes. But we, uh... We definitely play it. You can hear it. You can sync your copy up and watch along with us. We make snide comments, and you can hear me laugh my ass off at the end. And then you can see you can make silly comments in the chat, which also make me laugh, like uh, one of our viewers did at the end of this movie. Anyway, uh, so this is technically the first of the two rock and roll John Tassano horror films. So uh, yeah, Owen. Would it doesn't want... make it to your list, though. Doesn't make it to my list. No, no, nothing was summoned with the music. You're right. That's the thing. I have a list on Letterbox. Is what he's referring to, which is, aud it's audible demon summoning. So any anytime there's like a recording or a music playing that summons a demon or evil or whatever, I put that movie on this list. You're right. This movie does not count for this list because it's, it's not how it worked. It was like some possessed house or something. <laughs> Never really explained, actually. And as nope. soon as you think there's going to be an explanation, a naked man wrestles a demon. Half naked man. Mostly naked man, really. He was more than half naked. It wasn't even a man, though, but we'll get to that. Oh, you're right. Anyway, why don't you take us through the movie before I fucking spoil it? <laughs> well, you get the... Before we started, I was telling how I, I only remember two parts of the movie, the beginning and the end. There's a reason for that. Yeah. But the beginning starts out just a farmhouse. There's a wife cooking dinner. There's a kid playing. Dad's upstairs shaving. Well, then a fancy electric shaver. Kind of weird for a farmhouse, but. Yeah, what are you going to do? And then uh, she gets sucked into the oven. And then the husband slowly jumps down the stairs, like, oh, is my wife screaming? He hears her <laughs> screaming, and he literally. <laughs> half-heartedly runs to the edge of the balcony and the stairs, leans over, honey, honey, and then <laughs> jogs down the stairs, and you see him very quickly moving, not running, just moving quickly, like you see Steve Patton, like, what are you doing? I th aren't you here screaming in agony? Fuck sakes. Anyway. She's nowhere to be found, but the oven's moving. I mean, open it. Ah, skeleton pops out with skin burning off. Yep, pretty cool effect actually. And then the uh, the kids like, mom, dad. Ah! What was the original credit card for this movie? Something about hell. To hell and back or something. I don't no. know. And then at the end of the movie, he's writing that song. But I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Hold on, I gotta blow my nose one second. <laughs> Obviously, you know, he cuts these this shit out. <laughs> But this is why he Forever. edits it. I'm sorry. <laughs> one second before we continue. I was editing uh, one of the, the twins where we recorded for 40 minutes. And I think it's going to be below 20 when I'm done editing it. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, where the fuck's the... Oh, Jonathan's son played the wolf boy. I'll have to bring that up in a second. Oh, wolf. also... Yeah, the, the monster kid. Oh, so the main kid? Edge of Hell. The Edge of Hell is what it's called. Mm. Yeah, the, no, the little kid at the end. Yeah, but he was in the beginning, too. Oh, dude. So, the okay. <clears throat> well, let me uh, move this over here so I can get it off screen. So, okay. Okay, so, uh, this movie was shot in seven days, by the way. And the film came in ten minutes short, so John Fasano 
uh, 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 like went out with John Michael Thor and filmed sequences of him driving the van around, hence the prolonged opening shots of the van driving to the farm. <laughs> and, oh yeah, and the final was entitled, originally entitled The Edge of Hell. The producer, producers chose to retitle the film Rock and Roll Nightmare to help sell the film on the video market. I would say that's probably a good idea, because The Edge of Hell probably wouldn't have got me to see this movie. But the Rock and Roll Nightmare is very evocative. I'm like, yeah, I want to see that. All right. Now we got that stuff, that beginning stuff over. We want on. So, yeah. Yeah, so family's dead. They cut away. As you just mentioned, lots of van driving. Yeah, and now we, I was joking. I was making a joke. I was making a comment saying, I'm, I'm wondering if that's a reference to the end of the movie. But no, no, it's not. It's not. You confirmed, 100%. It's, it's not. Anyway, yeah, so you, you can clearly see it's just one person driving the van, and that, that's that's it. But the van arrives, and a band gets out. Or van, the van arrives, and, and a band gets out, and I'm like, where did you come from? <laughs> it's baffling. Yeah. And it's just like a lot of long, drawn-out parts where they're just like, walking around the house and then they're all having sex. There's basically about 30 minutes in this movie where it's just people talking and fucking in, <laughs> and it's just ad nauseum and yeah. what the fuck? It was really, I mean, it's not even like entertaining fucking. Okay, one scene was actually like that lady had some moves. That's all I'm saying. And then like, and you're like, oh, she's not that ugly. She's not good looking. He didn't like her because like the way she looked. But I was like, I don't know. She got some moves. Anyway, she had a Joker mouth. Ugh, so mean. <laughs> <laughs> so mean. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I mean, you know, like most of it's just boring fucking and babbling and talking about some inane songs. bullshit. Literally, they talk about how they need to record music, and then no one actually records music. Well, there's two full songs, pretty much. Oh, yeah. playing, and, and then it pl- cuts to them again, fucking, it's eating. Right. That's right. <laughs> it, it's basically like, it shows them recording one song, then there's, there's fucking and talking, and then they're recording another song, and there's talking and fucking, and someone finally fucking dies. Who well, that kind of happens early on. Well, that one person goes missing early on. Yeah. So in between all the fucking and band playing. Oh, yeah, like, so it was... It was Band plane, fucking, someone goes missing, band plane, fucking, more people go missing, yep. more fucking, no more band playing because the band's starting to go missing. Occasional puppets. Re- pretty cool puppets, even though they totally look fake as shit. I think they look cool still. I want them as action figures very badly. So Black Roses and Night- Rock and Roll Nightmare need to have action figures, is what I'm saying. And yes, I would own a John Michael Thor figure. Yes. Even if he was wearing that outfit from the end of this movie. Because that needs to be on my shelf. Anyway. But yeah, nothing really in the middle of the movie really happens. You just see the band members get picked off one by one. So you want to just jump to the end then? Because nothing I mean, happens. Like like one guy, like the band manager gets his neck chomped. That's and then, the first one. And then some lady gets killed and some other dude gets killed. Like, it's like, most of it's well, off screen, honestly. Grabbed. Like, they're walking down the hallway and looking at the door and they just get yanked out of yeah. frame. It was shot in seven days, you know what I mean? Like, it, it looks like it was shot in seven, it feels like it was shot in seven days. It was a bit rushed in that manner. But, there was a little kid running around and then became a demon and, and that jumped was apparently, onto a wall. And that was apparently John Fasano's son. Which you didn't even see because it just cuts to a shot of a wall with some shadows on it and people are like, Aah. Yes. being killed yeah that's, that's pretty much that's like I know like this is going to be a really short episode but like that's that's literally the, that we just told you everything happened in the movie like I'm sorry to spoil it that's the entire movie right there and then the fucking end happens yes and you're got- sitting here going what the fuck will this movie end and suddenly the end was like your wish is my command and just well, fuck shit goes off the rails I told you I remember the ending and I was I was waiting for your reaction to what was going to happen I, Uproarious <laughs> laughter was my my reaction. Well, let's start a little ahead before. Hold on, hold on, so, hold on. All right, my mic just <sighs> technical issue. Can you guys still hear me on this live stream? Are we good, guys? Somebody? 
You can still hear me, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm using a different mic on here. I gotta make sure this is still coming through. It's still. Oh, oh hold on. I take it back. It's still coming through. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I mic came unplugged and shit. All right. As you were saying. So, first you have Thor. He's writing his Edge of Hell song, literally writing music notes, which I didn't buy, but maybe he does that. I'm not putting it he past. He's an actual him. rock star, so. I mean, you know. Heavy metal is known as like the meathead music or whatever, but like I don't know, maybe he did. Maybe he did write it. It looked to me like nonsense, but I can't read music very well, so you know, I'm not the fucking expert. But then his girl comes in and and her demon voice says, "They're all dead," and he's like, "No, nah, no, they're not." It's like the van's gone. You can't escape. Like now, it's outside. It's back outside again. And then she's the demon inside of her is really confused, being like, "What?" It's like, nah. And then eventually he's just like, oh, by the way, they never existed and I made them all up. And he's like, what? And he's like, I'm the intercessor! And fucking light glows out of him and fucking, <laughs> out of nowhere, he's in his fucking Speedo and he's oiled up and he's a motherfucking wrestler and he him and this fucking demon, which is a full goddamn demon, have a fucking wrestling match. Old school, 80s style, test his strength for five fucking minutes wrestling match. I swear to fuck, this is the coolest shit I've ever seen. You have to see this fucking movie. Oh my god, I was howling. This is amazing. This is so fucking good. Sorry. And then apparently the uh, alien from Without Warning shows up and throws a little starfish at him. Yeah, so throwing fucking rubber starfish at him, like made of clay or some shit. And, and he's sitting there going, ah, ah, and like flailing and holding on to him, onto his chest, like that thing you do when you're pretending something's attacking you. Ah, ah, and throws him off him, yeah. and some more gets stuck in his hair, and he's just like, the oh whole, my god. The whole it's ending amazing. is Thor just fighting himself. It is! He's the just, puppets. He's the intercessor. He's amazing. He's, uh, the big twist is... No, but no band never existed, and he's an archangel. And the demon is not any order of demon; it is Satan himself. And he starts yeah. up being like, "I know your name," and he lists off like ten different names of Satan. And yeah. Satan's like, "What?" And he's like, "I'm the intercessor," and then like all this shit, crazy shit happens. He's just like, "You got pranked, bro." Yeah, you got fucking punked. Oh, 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 oh! That no that, that clip. Alive, bitch. Why the fuck you in an abandoned farmhouse in the middle of nowhere in the beginning? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so fucking great. Uh, made that for the whole movie. That ending is so worth everything. And then the best part about the ending, he starts choking it, and then Satan's like, Oh, I give up. You I give up. I, he, he, makes, he makes Satan tap like a bitch. <laughs> he even fucking double eight takedowns him, and Satan's just like, Ah, uh, ah. Uh. It's like a whole minute, just like, ah. Uh. Uh, and then gets and then, up, and then gets choked, and then gives up. Like, okay. Yeah. Like, man, yeah. I was hoping, I was hoping upon hope that Dominic Thor would just grab the fucking legs and just whip him into a sharpshooter or a figure four leg lock and literally make him tap. That would have been the greatest thing ever. I yeah, would have just... leg scene was oh, God. weird. He grabs the legs, falls just... down, then it's just like, like five minutes of the close-up on the demon's face. I thought he was going to yeah. grab the legs and do a little spin move. Throw yeah, him. I know. I was expecting a fucking attack of some sort. A stomp on him, elbow drop, something. But he just stands yeah. there being the badass, <laughs> in half-naked, mostly naked intercessor. He's wearing some two straps, a tiny fucking speedo, and he's oiled to the gills, bro. And Thor is jacked, motherfucker. He is a god. He is a god among men with his fucking muscles. And you're just like... What the fuck am I watching? I had, to, I, had to mute, I had to actually... I had to blank out the screen because fucking... I can't show topless men on, on Twitch. Because their equal... Their equality thing is... Okay. Okay. Fine. You can't show topless men or women. You're like, okay. Fair enough. But now I gotta censor like half the movies you watch. Because dudes take their shirts off and shit. Anyway. The most confusing part about that whole ending fight was like... There's a close-up on Thor and his eyes glow. And I'm like, oh, he's going to shoot some motherfucking laser beams. And nope. then just choke Satan. Yep. And, and, they, and they weren't even centered on his eyes. One was on his eye, one was right yeah. below his eye. <laughs> he has a droopy <laughs> eye. He has one droopy eye. It was amazing. This and was then pure art. And he's around the cemetery in a dark scene and says something that I didn't really pay. I think he said, uh, 
a Bible verse. This movie is stupid. This movie is beautiful <laughs> and wonderful and stupid, and I loved it. And the monsters are cool, and Thor fucking wrestles Satan. <coughs> I mean, Jesus Christ. How I'm so glad we watched this second, because I would have watched this and then watched Black Roses. I would have just been disappointed in Black Roses, actually. I mean, Black Roses was good. Endings. Yeah, Black Roses was good, but this was fucking insane. This was so much fucking coke up the nose, too much Jack Daniels, limp dick, piss in my pants, insanity. This is fucking nuts, dude. This is great. This got four out of five stars for me. Because of the fucking ending. It's like, it's a two out of five star movie, and then the fucking ending happens, you're like, holy shit. It's awesome. On Letterboxd, I'm giving that three and a half stars. Let's be fair, I gotta be critical. <laughs> what did you think of the movie? Two. Yeah, see, it's mostly a two. Until that fucking ending. Oh man, I can't wait to watch Intercessor, another rock and roll nightmare someday. Anyway. Technically, that was Owen's pick. He doesn't have a movie pick, so I picked a pet movie. We're watching Rats, Night of Terror, Bruno Mattei film. Bruno Mattei. Uh, these bikers and 225, uh, 20, 225 AB, after bomb, post-apocalypse, uh, hunker down in this base, and then like they start getting attacked by these radioactive, rabid right, mice, rats and shit. And, <laughs> and then it goes off the rails from there. And it's bizarre and strange and stupid as shit. I can't wait to show it to you, sir. Alright. So that's next week's... That's next episode's... Probably next week's... Probably next episode's uh, recording. We'll probably do it this early next time, too, if you don't mind. Depends when I'm awake, but maybe. It'd be nice if we could do it a little bit earlier, just because I'm streaming already, and I'll have to turn... You know, just boom, we can do this. And Anyway, we'll see you next time for... <laughs> Rats Night of Terror on YouTube. See you. Peace. Peace out, YouTube.